Hi there, it's Sandy Allnock, and I had a rather weird idea occur to me when I was out pulling weeds in the garden. There were some dead things. These ferns were on their last legs, and I thought I'd pull off the really dead ones, and maybe the ones that were still a little greener would survive better. And I put down a piece of watercolor paper that I didn't really want to use. It's a brand that doesn't work really well for painting, but I thought I wanted to do something with it. And I thought maybe spraying on these, using them as stencils, would be kind of cool and it would work. And if I held the branches and things down close to the paper, I could get a sharper image than if I held them or let them kind of come up off the paper. And it turned out really cool. I did some painting into some of those areas on the piece of paper, and it was an absolutely gorgeous painting. But that got me thinking we could do this for Bible journaling as well. It would be a gorgeous, really simple background. You could do this with your kids, have them make a whole bunch of pages for you that you can then in the future use as tippins in your Bible. Just arrange the greens in any way you'd like. If you have flowers like this, I just cut off the flowers on the ends of some of my hydrangeas. I pulled out entire little pieces of weeds. Those things are nasty weeds in my yard and I thought they might make beautiful shapes and God could reclaim even the yucca weeds. And what I put in my bottle was a little bit of this PH Martin's Hydrus watercolor. I dropped a, a little drop of it from the bottle into a mister. You can use any kind of spray bottle but just know that the more water you have in it, the more color you'll need to put in it. Test it out and see if it's the right shade that you are looking for. You could also try potentially some ink refills. So if you have stamping inks that have refills, you might try this with some of those or other kinds of sprays. If you're using the Tomo River paper, then if it doesn't work and it bleeds through, then you just have wasted a piece of paper. You haven't wrecked anything in your Bible since you'll be doing this separately anyway. But this worked out really pretty. You may decide you want to use some tweezers to lift up some of the little tiny flowers. I ended up getting this color all over my hands and it's a staining color, which means now I have blue fingers. <laughs> so be aware of that, depending on what kind of medium you choose. And lift up all the pieces and then you can go in and paint the way I'm gonna do, or you could just leave it blank in some of the areas where there's large leaves. The large leaves made a little less interesting areas. So if you have really tiny leaves, I think that's going to give you a better detailed pattern than the big leaves. Some of them I ended up putting back on here. This one, I wanted to finish off that outer shape because I just had a big white blob. And even though I was gonna trim this down to be the six by nine that fits in my Bible, I wanted to at least give myself room on the outside edges. And here I was just painting in some of the areas, making sure that not everything had a crisp edge on it. I just had the feeling I wanted some of them to have softer edges on the leaves and let them kind of fall into each other. And it was really easy to just throw some water in here. After I got done, I let it dry and then ironed it and could put it in my Bible as a tip in. And that is about it for me. I will see you again soon. It's World Watercolor Month, so go play with some watercolors like I'm doing. And I'll see you again soon. God bless you. Bye-bye.